Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are doing amazing. Today we are rounding up my best of 2023, my most used items. We have a container full of so much stuff. We have palettes, lip glosses, lip liners, foundations, primers, every single category. I literally have everything listed down right here so that we can just quickly go through everything. I'll definitely also be demoing how I created this look using the items. So if you would like to see what are the best 2023 beauty products in my opinion, well then you know what to do. Just keep on watching iced coffee in hand because this is going to be a long one for me i'm going to try and make it as quick for you but also in the festive spirit with this sparkly top honestly this would have been so cute for new year but we're still in january so there's that okay so we're gonna start off first with the tools that i use and i do just want to mention the best sponges that i have used in 2023 are these coco cosmetics by chloe this is so so squishy and bouncy i literally ever since i started using this i have never turned back to any other beauty blender or sponge because these are just amazing i found them on beauty bay and then for brushes i do also use these in the video i've been loving these specifically this is from the brand refer and i actually found it by patty alonzo here on youtube she raved about it and i picked up an eye set and it is literally so so like they blend like a dream they are on the pricier side but they do around the holiday time have a really good sales so i think i picked these up for like half the price which still is a little expensive but they are so 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 good i genuinely love them so much and then honestly the makeup by ario and morphe collaboration these brushes are so good literally i think i picked up two packs and i might pick up another one this brush specifically is my all-time favorite i love that it has this flat side on top i usually always use it to just like clean up the edges for a wing and then this side on the other one is really good to just be able to create the cut crease or blend so these are the best makeup tools that i have been using this year before diving into the makeup because that is literally the majority of this entire video i do also just want to share the best perfume of the year for me and that has been the k ali vanilla one. Oh my god this smells if you're a vanilla girl you're gonna love this it is just spicy warm and vanilla -y. like i literally can't describe it anyway else it is so good i have this one and i have a backup and every christmas i get a new one because i absolutely love this scent now for hair i definitely want to give a shout out to my dyson air wrap tool i love this i live by it it is definitely worth the investment in my opinion i got this hairstyle literally just with this item this tool this attachment and my hair is looking so 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 cute i absolutely love it i didn't have to go in with a flat iron or anything like that and i love it i feel like it works so well with my thick curly hair and honestly it still comes with a whole bunch of other attachments but just this attachment for me and the technology behind this item is enough for me so definitely best of 2023 when it comes to hair and one last category before makeup is going to be nails and i am going to say the glamnetic press-ons i am such a press-on girly like i love press-ons i feel like they're a great way to just get really beautiful designs at an affordable price and you can always just like pop them on and off and i discovered this brand and i love how durable they are the beautiful designs you can get them on Amazon or you can get them on their actual website themselves they have really good deals and I really just love the fun prints that they have so definitely best of 2023 when it comes to beauty and nails all right, so now that those categories are done, let's hop on into the makeup and speed through these. First, we have primers, and I have these three items right on in here. I have the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream as a moisturizer. Sometimes I don't necessarily really use a primer, so this moisturizer is perfection. It is such a moisturizing cream, and I love that because my skin just soaks it up. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend it and will always continue to repurchase once this is done. For a primer, I cannot tell you how many of these bottles I have gone through. This one, I think this is my third one, and this one is my second one, and I just ordered another one. I love this product. I like to use primer for the gripping effect, so I like when things are tacky, and the e.l.f. Jelly Pop as well as the Power Grip just do that for me. 
Moving into foundation, I have these three products right on in here. The first one is going to be the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This foundation took the internet by the storm and with good reason. It is such a good medium to full coverage foundation. It looks beautiful, natural on the skin and wears really, really well. I have been enjoying this since I purchased it. But for me, I have been loving, loving, loving skin tints. I feel like they give you a more natural look while still giving you some coverage. And the two that I've been loving, this one is an all time favorite and that's the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is perfection. I feel like you can use this for an everyday, but you can also use it for a full glam look and really get good, good, good coverage. And this one is a more recent purchase, but I have been loving it so much. And it's the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour skin tint. It gives me a lot of the same qualities and formula that the Beauty Blender gives, which explains why I love it so much. But this is such a good one. I would definitely say if I only had to stay with three foundations, it would probably be these three. Now for concealer, we have five different concealers. Now I must say, from all the categories, I would say concealer is what I use the most just because I like to do the coverage underneath the eye. Foundation, I would probably really ever wear unless we're doing a full glam. But concealer, we go through like crazy over here. And also 2023 was the year of just every brand was launching concealers and i am not mad at it i'm like okay let's test this out let's try this out and these are the five that for me were just the absolute best first off we'll start with the nyx bear with me concealer serum this is absolutely beautiful i used it on the face today and it just gives such good coverage but it's super super hydrating because it has that serum effect and i think that's what i love the most about all of these they all kind of have that same quality of just being very hydrating underneath the skin next up we have the natasha denona high glam concealer also another top tier a very raved and hyped up product but with good reason it is such a good formula it doesn't really necessarily crease underneath the eye and lasts really well we also have the tower 28 and I believe this is also a serum concealer as well. So we're seeing a trending topic when it comes here to the concealers. Serum-like concealers are hydrating, not too cakey, not too heavy, not too drying. So I absolutely loved that one. I'll also put in here the Rare Beauty one. Now I actually have had this one for a while, but I didn't really use it or I wasn't really crazy about it. And I've started using it more in just my everyday type of appliance of concealer. And I've been really loving it. It has good coverage. I like that it has a natural finish doesn't look crazy or like super creasy at the end of the day so i genuinely really really love that and then the last concealer that i want to talk about is the she glam complexion boost concealer this is what when you want like full coverage concealer but that it still looks nice and natural this is your go-to girl i love using this specifically to just like brighten or add a little bit more coverage when i feel like my dark circles are peaking a little bit too much and this is what it looks like but this right here is definitely top tier and would highly 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 recommend you testing it out if you're looking for a good full coverage but natural concealer next up we have setting powders and i have two right here although i do want to give a special shout out to my wet and wild translucent photo focus I cannot for the life of me find it it's here in my beauty room somewhere but I literally don't know where in the world it is but that one is an OG carried it into 2023 but this year I've been using the derma blend loose setting powder and I have been really really loving it I have it on my face today and I just love how velvety it leaves my skin and that's honestly one of the biggest things that I look for when it comes to setting powder something that mattifies just because throughout the day I do get a little oily in the t-zone but sometimes Thing also that just kind of gives that smooth blur velvet effect and this does that now for a pressed powder I definitely want to mention the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish this as you can tell is very loved here I like to apply it underneath the eye for once again that blurred flawless velvet finish so definitely definitely one of my favorite favorite powders of the year now for contour or bronzer we have these three right on in here first we have the made by Mitchell liquid blusher and this is in the color shady business I love 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 this it blends so nicely on the skin and I actually have this in a few other colors as well just to have some that are a bit more warm or cool but it works beautifully on the skin I also swear and will always repurchase this the tower 28 sculptino i use the color hammer and i find that it is such a beautiful stunning neutral color for me 
specifically it's not warm it's not too cool the only thing i hate about it is that literally every time i open it my nail gets stuck in the product because it's such a like hard class but those are like minor things that is one of my absolute favorite favorite formulas and then i've been dabbling into the milani liquid contour this is in the color toffee and it's what i use on the face today and i genuinely really love this one for an affordable option that just gives me a good color i feel like when it comes to contour the tricky part is finding something that is not super red or super super gray or super super warm and so i feel like these three give me really good formulas with really good colors now i did just want to also mention two powdered bronzers slash contours and here we have the kim chi chic bronzer in i went to venice and this is an OG I think I've been using this prior to last year but this is just such a good bronzing color for me it works so well on my skin tone but another product that I picked up and I've actually really been enjoying is the house labs power sculpt velvet bronzer now I had picked this up earlier in the year tried it and wasn't so crazy about it but then I saw a few people like reviewing it and using it and talking about it and I'm like you know what let me give it another try and for me I find that the formula is really really good it is very pigmented so you definitely want to go in with a light hand and then kind of just build from there but I love that this color is so neutral like it is definitely leaning like a contour but it's not super gray but so you can kind of use it as a bronzer and contour I find this color to be absolutely stunning the formula is great it feels nice and like hydrating for a powder if that makes any sense but definitely wanted to give an honorable mention to these two powdered bronzers for the year we then move on to one of my favorite categories especially the year 2023 and that is blush we have so many many options here and i really had to go through my collection and kind of pick like which are the top products that i've been using because I have a lot of lot of blushes this year I do not need to purchase any more unless obviously like something is super super different but I have a lot of blush options and so the ones that I want to mention today we'll start off with the say do blushes this is in the color rosy and this is in the color chili I loved this formula I picked them up in the little mini I think it came in a set of three for the holidays and it is just such a beautiful blush to just throw on I love that it has that dewy finish so it's perfect for like every day when you're not wearing like too much makeup but you definitely just want like a little life a little color into your skin i find that that is absolute perfection i am obsessed once again with my nude stick blush my all-time favorite color is sun kissed but i did just pick up a new color i think it's called old maple a and i think that might rival this color it is literally such a stunning stunning color and i find that it just works so beautiful once again a color that you can always just throw on whether you're doing an everyday look or you're doing a full glam this is their matte formula it looks so beautiful and blends so nicely on the skin next up i definitely need to mention the elf putty blushes i literally use these every day or every other day when i'm not using another blush or i'll combine them because they're so good and so easy and so affordable these are the top three colors that i love to use they don't have the name on the packaging but oh my goodness you should definitely get your hands on these because they are so good they are cream blushes but holy cow they look so amazing and blend so beautifully on the skin speaking of blushes that are beautiful and blend on the skin i also have to mention the moira cosmetic blushes this was such a good find i think i discovered them in 2022 and i have been using their cream blushes and it is just such a beautiful formula like i said you can use this for an everyday you can use it for a glam look it just blends so nicely and also just looks beautiful natural radiant on the skin so highly 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 recommend checking these out and they are super affordable i think they're like eight dollars each which is phenomenal for blush and the quality and formula that you get and lastly i did just want to throw a powder blush in here and that is going to be the bare mineral bronzer i love this stuff it is so good definitely didn't like discover it last year but i use it a ton it is just such a beautiful formula because it's like a combination of a blush it's supposed to be a blush and a bronzer but i feel like it's more a blush and a highlighter because it does have a radiant some sort of just like sheen to it which looks stunning and it just makes it like less powdery on the skin and more so just like natural and beautiful which obviously i love and i want for highlighter these are my top two most used most loved highly recommended products of the year first off we have the rare beauty 
Exhilarate Highlighter. Now these went viral when they came out and with good reason, they are so good. This is a very reflective, but it is so soft and delicate and the way that it just looks on the skin is beautiful. You can build it up to get that blinding, blinding highlight or you can just use a little amount to just give a beautiful little glow to the skin. Now the next highlighter that I've been using a ton this year is the She Glam Cosmetic Crystal Mousse Highlighter. Now this one is in the shade Moonbeam and this is what it looks like. Kind of very similar to that Rare Beauty but this one is a moussey formula which I love. It kind of reminds me of the OG like Physicians Formula uh, highlighter which is such a pretty pretty shade. And this one is one of the highlighters that I like to use when I don't want something like too insanely like you know blinding but something that just gives a beautiful natural sparkle to the cheeks to the nose just to add some definition and to be able to just focus in the light when it comes to the face and for eye primer i will definitely still swear by the nars primer now i don't think they sell these anymore which i am so bummed about but i bought like five or six of them so i still have backup when this finishes i'm gonna have to like find something else i did actually pick up the milk hydro eye primer so we will be testing this one out in 2024 to, to see if it's any good and it will take over the place of my nars but as of right now nars is the best of 2023 best of 2022 just the best eye primer period now for eyeshadows we have a lot of eyeshadows but surprisingly i feel like in 2023 i didn't really use a lot of eyeshadows i was focused more so on just complexion and the base like that's where i was exploring and also just utilizing my makeup a little more but some products did launch and I did have some just like core palettes that I kind of just stuck to we can't talk about 2023 without talking about the Natasha Denona I need a nude palette this launched and also once again went completely viral and with good reason this color story is beautiful it is just like mauves and neutrals and pinks and deep colors it's just such a stunning gorgeous palette I think it's gonna be perfect for the springtime uh, so I'm really excited to just use that and then the other two palettes that I have are Beauty Bay palettes When I tell you when you think of Franny and you think of eyeshadow quality I want you to always just drill in your head Natasha Denona Beauty Bay like those are the top two then we have Moira, you know, we have um, Pat McGrath and things like that, but Natasha Denona and Beauty Bay I'm telling you if I had to get rid of all my eyeshadow palettes and just keep one brand it's it's one of these and so I want to show you these two palettes that I've been using a ton the first one is the nude palette and honestly it's just because it has every neutral color that I can possibly think of so I oftentimes would just like go into this one and another palette just because I know that I like a specific color or you know they work really well with my skin tones so I have this one as well as the larger one I kind of just go in between like all of them and there's even a smaller one that's all matte but literally it has every single neutral color that I could ever need for any palette. So this I often reach into when I am looking for a specific neutral color like for the inner corner or I want like a transition shade that is similar to my skin tone. That palette has it for me. And then the other Beauty Bay palette that I've been using a ton, and this one is surprising too, is the Nikki Tutorial collaboration that they had. I actually picked this one up for $5. It was on sale for $5 when I purchased it. And I got it. It's very colorful, which is kind of not really why I purchased it, but mostly for the shimmers. And I am so glad that I did because these shimmers are divine like beauty bay's formula is really like top tier i'm telling you but i use these two so much i've reached a ton for this palette specifically for those shimmer shades when i know that i want something sparkly beautiful kind of just like what i have on the eye right now i know that this palette is giving me an array of options for me to be able to put on my eye so We've gotten good use out of that. Definitely so worth picking up for those $5. Now for eyeliner, I tried a few different eyeliners, but I was really also just using like shadows as liners. So not many contenders, but I did just want to give a special shout out to this specific one. This is the Eye Method Beauty Stamp Eyeliner. I was gifted this and I tried it out. It has the stamp on one side. For you to be able to create a wing and then the pen marker side on the other to be able to complete it i'm not crazy about the stamp i don't really care for the stamp but the formula the richness 
and the lasting power of this eyeliner is what shook me to the core okay i wore this eyeliner and it will not move and i that's what i want okay i don't want crumbly eyeliner i don't want it breaking apart and so this i believe they sell on amazon if you can get your hands on it you should it comes with a duo because it comes with a right eye and a left eye so you're getting two eyeliners for the price of one essentially such a good eyeliner i would highly recommend and label as the best of 2023 now moving on over to brows i have the NYX Brow Glue. I've been using this all year to just be able to kind of give that laminated effect of just raising the brows up. I have a very rebellious curly brows and this has been working really wonderful. Now to fill in, I've been using the She Glam Duo Pen. Now this one has a marker on one side and then a pencil on the other. I literally use this all the time and it's mostly for the marker I, I like to just go in and kind of create hair like strokes with the marker side and it lasts so well throughout the day and then the latest product that I've been trying is the Huda Beauty the micro brow pencil this one comes with a spoolie on one side and also then just has the pencil on the other I love that it's not super waxy it gives a nice powdery effect it's super super micro so you can once again create those hair like strokes which for me is what works best for my brows lastly when it comes to eyes we have mascara and so I have for sure my tower 28 once again it's one of those products that I don't know where for the life of me it is it's somewhere in this vanity but i use it so often and i have backup too i have like three so i don't know why they keep disappearing but definitely the tower 28 is still a favorite one of the best mascaras i've ever used and this is one of the newer ones that i've been testing out and i've been liking it so far and it's the maybelline the falsies lash lift it's what i used on my lashes today and i since i don't use lashes i like something that has a bit of volume gives me some length kind of just gives a thickness and richness to the lashes and i find that this is doing it for an affordable and drugstore price lastly we have lips which is such a fun category for me this year i was always a bold lip girl which honestly i want to start wearing again but because i want to play around with color and things on the eyes i do just want to find like my go-to staple nude liners and lipsticks so this year honestly was just really bad but i've been really into just like lip balms and kind of just making sure that the lips are hydrated but when it comes to lip liners, these two formulas are my favorite. We first have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour, and I specifically love the color Sandy Beige. I feel like it's such a beautiful neutral color for my skin tone. And then I also have here the Jaclyn Cosmetics, which I'm so sad that they announced they're closing, and I'm like, ugh. I, I did a recent purchase prior to this because I had a feeling. I had a feeling they had been speculating and talking and I'm like, I need to like rack up on her lip liners because I love that formula, but also the color selections. And so the color that I've used the absolute most is hot tea and that's what i use on the lips today it is just such a beautiful like brown your lips but better to just be able to outline or lip gloss i literally just had it on me but i'll show you in the demo what we use it is the milani lip gloss and i've been using it lately and i just love the color it literally looks so gorgeous on the lips and just gives me that beautiful like wash of color to be able to pair with those liners that i mentioned before so it has definitely been one of my top and most used items of 2023 and would highly highly highlight and definitely rate it as one of the best of the year Alrighty guys, well that concludes the best of 2023 products in my opinion and my most used items. Literally I have a disaster in this room because there's just products everywhere but it's so fun to always just like look in my collection and just know which items I've used the most, which ones I'll repurchase and which ones were just amazing finds throughout the year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.